Today, the goal is to use my students' love of these to get them interested in working with this. So in my level one manufacturing class, we start the year off using sheet metal fabrication projects to teach all the basics of working in a shop. So the fabrication project we do are designed to teach a certain set of skills, but sometimes the students find them a little bland, a little vanilla. So I wanted to use their phones to my advantage. I can't get them to put them away for more than five or 10 minutes. So I designed a simple little phone stand, which hopefully will engage them a little bit more. Once we have our piece of metal, the size we need to actually make our phone stand, we're gonna transfer the layout from our plans to our metal. So here are our plans. We're gonna start with our width lines, which if we have it oriented in this direction, it's our vertical lines. And we're just gonna work our way from left to right, measuring from the far left edge all the way over marking the line all the way through to get all our width dimensions. Then we're gonna come back through and get our only height dimension or height line that we need to mark, which is our three quarter in to our material from each edge roughly in the center of our material on that four and a half inch line. So we're gonna use a steel rule to mark our lines left to right, and then we're gonna finish those lines off with a tri-square to get those lines nice and straight or perpendicular. If we don't have measurements over eight inches, I always just have my students just use a tri-square for measuring and marking. But in this case, since we're going past eight inches a little bit, we mark our measurements with our steel rule, then we mark our lines with our tri-square. The only mark we have to get is on our four and a half inch line, which is the end of our angled lines, kind of get that angle cut as part of our phone stand. Take a tri-square, you're just gonna line it up with your four and a half inch width line here. Find your three quarter mark and just make a little line going across at three quarters from both sides. So you're going into your material, three quarters of an inch on that four and a half. So to mark that angle with those three quarter inch marks that we just made, we're gonna use that three quarter inch mark on our four and a half inch line as the end point, one end point of our line. We're gonna use our two and one eighth on one side and our six and five eighths on the other. We're just gonna line our steel ruler up with those two points. Two points make a line and we're just gonna mark our metal. Both sides, same angle, nice, clean, and easy. Then all we have left is to mark our corners at 45s. We'll do that with our tri-square, then we'll be ready to cut. We have all our lines marked ready to cut to shape one thing you want to do before you actually cut is you want to mark your four and a half inch line on both the front or the side that we've been working on in the back the reason for that is when we actually get to the bending portion of this project it will need to use the back side of this as reference to bend it in this direction and if we don't have that mark then we're kind of guessing once you have all those you're basically just cutting your angles and cutting our triangle out in the middle to give us our angle in the center. And there you go, cut to shape. And we use, just use a simple set of straight cut aviation shears or compound shears to make that happen. Any set of 10 snips or, or shears should work. So when we get to the bend portion of this project, I have my students get their plans out and we write down the order of their bend. So we start with A, then we do B, C, flip our metal over and do D. A, B, and C are all roughly 45 degree angles. D is gonna be like 65 to 80 degrees.
we go, our finished bent phone stand. And this front half where our phone's gonna be, I either have my students bend it so it's sitting up at an angle like this, which this bend was roughly 45 and that one was just kind of eyeballing it. It was probably somewhere around 30 degrees. This piece I bent up, I don't know, past 90. But from here, once they get it to this state, if they don't like the angle that that, or they want it to be a little bit more vertical, they can always use their hand as long as the, the sheet metal is a little flexible, right? Or they can make it a little less, you know, make it more shallow. But there we go. Works with the phone. Looks good. Holds everything in place. Once we have our finished phone stands, I usually just have my students come over and add a coat of single collar spray paint to them to stop them from rusting. This year, I experimented with making some stencils out of some old vinyl material we had and using our laser cutters to cut those out. And they turned out pretty well. Had some experimenting and some trial and error, but overall, I got the process down pretty well. And the products came out looking pretty neat with some pretty simple processes to get those stencils. So I'm excited to see what my students will come up with next year when I let them take that extra step and make stencils in our laser cutter. If you like this project and you're looking for your next sheet metal fabrication project, check out this video right here. Otherwise, thanks for watching.